Obviously, it was very emotional for you. We saw tears in your eyes, both when you were walking off, then when you went back and you paid that tribute to the pitch. That was also a very touching moment. I have to say, the crowd as well. I mean, every, I, there were grown men crying like babies, everyone weeping. So it was a really... You know, how, how tough was it for you, especially when you went back and you gave that final tribu tribute you know, to the, to the was, pitch? That was really tough. Uh, the kind of send-off my team gave me, I think that was also very emotional. Uh, before that, I knew uh, uh, when when West Indies lost nine wickets, the whole team gathered in the middle, and uh, MS Dhoni said, "Paji, you please leave us alone. You go because we're planning something for you. We don't want you to be here." <laughs> and you must have noticed that the whole team was in a huddle there, yeah. and I was the only one going towards deep square, like. When and the I crowd was wasn't chanting they, for you to come in bowl. And, and I'm, I'm like wondering, what are they planning? They're, they're, they're up to something. Yeah. And then when they actually, the kind of send-off they gave me, I mean, it was really emotional. Uh, also, to, to come to the terms that this is my last time playing for India. After that, I may end up playing exhibition games, whatever, I mean, various charity matches and all that. But it'll it'll never be for india so so that was uh, really really emotional and the last time uh, after all the ceremony i went to went to the wicket stood between 22 yards and just did as we call it in maharashtrians you know take the blessings namaskar kela to the wicket uh, and and uh, i basically thanked cricket for everything Whatever, whatever I've been able to become because of cricket in life, uh, I just wanted to thank cricket for that, and uh, that's when I got emotional.